So in the previous video, I was careful to choose three examples where we ended up with a terminating decimal, where we ended up at a stage where the remainder was zero, okay? And there was no point continuing. With each of these examples, however, we end up with a recurring decimal, okay? So let's take a look at example number one. 352 divided by 3. 3, 5, 2 divided by 3. So 3 into 3 goes once. 3's into 5 go once with 2 left over. 3's into 22 go 7. 7 3's are 21 with 1 left over. So because we've got the 1 hanging there, we're going to have to put in a 0 and we go into decimal points. 3's into 10 go 3 with 1 left over. So we bring in another 0. 3's into 10 go 3 with 1 left over. And bring in another 0. 3's into 10 go 3 with 1 left over. And so on and so forth. OK? So that just keeps on going forever and ever and ever. And so we have a recurring decimal. So this is 117 Point three recurring. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look at the second example. We have four thousand eight hundred and twenty two divided by six. So six into four goes zero with four left over. Okay, now 6's into 48. Well, 6 eighths are 48, so that goes in cleanly. 6's into 2 goes 0 with 2 left over. 6's into 22 um, go 3. 3 6 are 18 with 4 left over. Okay, so we're going to have to bring in a 0 and we're going to have to go to decimal points. Okay, now 6's into 40 go 6, because 6, 6 is a 36, with 4 left over. Bring in another 0, 6 into 40, go 6, with 4 left over. 6 into 40, go 6, with 4 left over. And so on and so forth. So 4,822 divided by 6 is 803.6 recurring. Okay. Right. Last one. 456 divided by 7. Right, I'm going to give myself a little bit of space for this one. So 456 divided by 7. Right, so 7s into 4 goes 0 with 4 left over. Now 7s into 45 go 6. 6 7s are 42, so I've got 3 left over. 7s into 36 go 5, 5 7s are 35, with 1 left over. So I'm going to have to bring in a 0 and then decimal point. 7s into 10 go once with 3 left over, bring in a 0. 7s into 30 go 4, 4 7s are 28, with 2 left over, bring in a 0. 7s into 20 go twice with 6 left over. 7s into 60 go 8. 8 7s are 56, with 4 left over. OK, 7s into 40 um, are going to go 5. 5 7s are 35, with 5 left over. 7s into 50 go 7, with 1 left over. OK, so 7s into 10 go 1 with 3 left over. And you can see this pattern is going to repeat itself. OK, so we've ended up with 65.142857. And then the next one is 1. Then it will be 4, then 2, then 8, then 5, then 7, then 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7. So the 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7 
is the piece that is repeating itself over and over again. And so 456 divided by 7 is 65.142857 recurring.